Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. It's been a while that I've been recording. So today, to let me get back into the groove, we'll be looking at the Italian premium, extremely heavy cruiser, the Giulio Cesare. I, I looked that up, I think that's really how it's being pronounced. Now you'd say, wait a minute, um, what are you talking about, cruiser? That's a battleship. Well, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> So, the original Giulio Cesare was an Italian battleship from uh, World War I vintage, uh, Dreadnought, and she got upgraded quite a bit in the 1930s. She got much more powerful engines for starters, she got uh, bigger guns, I think they, re they refitted her with 320 mils. Uh, she got better AA and all manner of things. So, what is she like in World of Warships? Well, the reason I am saying that that's a cruiser Look at the maneuverability of this thing. Okay, granted, it takes her a little bit of time to actually get up to speed, but she does 26 knots, which I think makes her probably the second fastest tier 5 battleship, battle cruiser, really, <laughs> in the game just behind the Congo. Look at the turn time. This thing has a seven, uh, just under 8 second turn time. There are cruisers that have, don't have that turn time. <laughs> this is an extremely maneuverable and fast battleship. The armor isn't isn't half bad either. She's got 35,000 hit points. Uh, she's got decent damage reduction. The only thing where she's not all that good at is at the torpedo damage reduction. And that's kind of uh, in line with the historical ship. She also was struggling with, uh, with decent pro torpedo protection. But, you know, 8 seconds turn time. <laughs> you don't need torpedo protect protection because you almost never get hit by any. Because <laughs> you can just can just dodge them. So, um, what what are the guns? Yep, three twenty mils. So they are relatively low caliber for a tier five. Usually, usually uh, the battleships have about three hundred fifty mils, except for the Optorbuskaya. I think she's got lower lower caliber as well, and maybe the French. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, she has three hundred twenty millimeter guns. So they're not quite as punchy as the other tier 5 battleship guns, which again, is why I'm calling this thing a cruiser. But with very big guns, that'll give you that. She has 10 of them. So we've got a triple turret in front, and then a super firing twin turret, which is a bit of a weird arrangement, but in total, we've got the same thing in the rear, and in total that makes for 10 guns. Their range is okay, it's not great. The, the reload is, well, as you'd expect, but um, at close range, or at long range, they're actually really quite effective. So you can get through a lot of tier 5 deck armor with uh, plunging fire, and at, uh, at point blank range, they can be, they can be quite effective in getting through, getting through enemy ships, even though they're just 320 mils. The secondaries, 120 mm, six, off, 6 twins, which is not a bad set, uh, 6 second reload, and a range of just over 5 kilometers. They're not so gonna make. They're not gonna cause a super super high amount of damage, but uh, don't neglect them. They're there. Again, for me, this is this ship's all about the maneuverability. The uh, anti-air is well present, but um, you you're not gonna make a huge dent in attacking fighter squadrons. The concealment is absolutely disastrous. <laughs> so, you're you're almost not outranging your concealment. But um, yes, as soon as you'll be spotted, and you will be spotted very, very quickly, people will start shooting at you. But again, this thing has an 8 second turn time, and has a top speed of 26, with the consumables of almost 27 knots. So, I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Anyway, uh, for the Elite Ship Bonus, I've got the Battleship Modernization. Battleship, yeah. With gives, gives us more hit points and a little bit of uh, torpedo damage, re damage reduction. Torpedo damage reduction isn't that great to begin with. So yes, we could try to, to kind of buff that out. But I don't think that's the right decision here. Eight second turn time. If you don't get hit by torpedoes, the torpedo damage reduction doesn't matter all that much. So uh, a couple more hit points is, just, is generally a good thing. In terms of modules, and again, you'll see what I mean. This is not a battleship. <laughs> I have got the main battery reload mod, because again, they're just, they're just 320 mils, so you do need, even though you have 10 of them, you do need to throw a bit more 
or at the wall to make it stick so to say so i did go with the main battery mod although the traverse mod would have been really nice as well this is something i sorely miss occasionally i have to stop turning just because this thing out turns its guns so quickly that i have to stop turning to get the guns back on point the second slot i have in the propulsion mod because well if it's a cruiser it actually has to manage to get up to speed and the speed is great so i'm i want that speed and i want it quicker and the last spot i went into the steering gear mod because yeah that's how i got her under eight seconds <laughs> traverse time it's hilarious uh supplies i've got the crew rations for reload time i've got hit points because there's really really no point in in uh trying to reduce your your concealment because you'll be spotted from miles away from the other end of the map really and uh the refined diesel for well, ship speed. <laughs> yes, this ship's all about the speed. I actually only have one Italian commander. I, I only have one captain. And he was on the on the Duca del Giabruzzi. Well, uh, good good for us then that um, this is a cruiser. <laughs> so I can totally I can totally use him here. So what do we got? We got the uh, the standard set for the first two. The ship has a precise aiming module, but uh, um, precise aiming skill, but um, her, her dispersion is quite good in general. Uh, of, occasionally, especially at closer range, if you're shooting at things that don't give you broadside, they can straddle quite a bit. But at long range, I, f I find they, are, they, are, they give uh, rather nice compact, compact, uh, compact shots. So I've got the artillery maintenance to get the traverse speed a little bit more up, which is great. I have the air defense expert, which is completely useless on the ship, but hey, I only have one of them. Mr. Mario has to, to deal with both ships at the moment. And I've got the survivalist, which makes sense for, for being in a battleship. And one that gets shot at quite a bit. So, the uh, last thing I will probably going to have a look at is the camouflage. This came with a historical camo. I kept this out of a bundle. So this gives us more hit points, more range, which is utterly needed. Uh, this does improve the dispersion again. So maybe that's what it's for. That, that's how I got to actually have an improved dispersion, or this really nice dispersion on her. And we've got a bit more torpedo damage reduction. So, okay. Uh, don't want to keep you bored too, too long, because I really, really want to show this ship off. And actually, uh, someone wants to join. So um, give me a second, and I'll try if we can pull this off as, uh, as a team play. Okay. Uh, we're playing with Tony Star 123 today in his mighty Königsberg, and we're on Golden Channel. New York, New York, Wyoming, Wyoming. Okay, lots of battleships. Anyway, where are we going? We are on the flank, and Königsberg is with us, so we'll take the flank. Was that a bot destroyer? Nope, that V170 is a real one. Uh, yep. I'm actually going to go around the right flank, and if anybody decides to come around here, then we can catch them off guard. And if not, then, <laughs> then we can outflank them and just kind of graze, the, uh, graze the, the target area in the meantime. So, Tony seems to be going in. I'm going to guard the flank here, because something might come, come around here. We'll start out with the AP loaded. And we'll see what comes to us. So, okay, we're by now, we're almost at 27 knots. We're at top speed. We can't quite keep up with the Königsberg, but uh, we're getting there. So he's probably going to have to stop there. Oh, there's a Kirov. Okay. First customer. No, I'm not quite sure I can make that shot around. Well, let's push ahead a little bit still. And precise aiming. Let's see if we can lob this. Yeah, we can. Okay. Anybody else out here? Okay, that's some nice damage. And where is the destroyer? There's nothing on the flank so far. There's a New York. We get another flanking shot at that Kirov out there in a second. And then we can start out flanking people for. Okay. Well, the Kirov is dead. Well done. And now we're completely gonna outflank them. Because I don't think there's anybody over here. What's that? There's a Wyoming coming around. Okay. 
Now they're concentrating their fire on the inside of the cap circle. This is what I mean, right? Long range, almost nine kilometers, you can dro Citadel drop them. So they're getting in position here in a defensive position for the cap circle. But I am in a fast battleship, or cruiser, really. I'm going to go around them. Then I'm going to be behind their guns. And I'm going to make their life rather uncomfortable from over here. Okay. Uh, where are they going? Come back. Hello. All right, that was disappointing. A couple secondary shots. Okay, that's a bot, so he can he can just turn around his turrets as he sees fit. But the bots get bot gets under fire, and we're just going to chase everybody back there. Close range like this, eh, we get some penetrations. Okay. Where's our teammate? Oh, there's the Königsberg. Okay. It's almost up. To watch out that I'm not outrunning him. Okay, he can clean up that bot over there. And uh, we're just going to continue chasing them. We're controlling the cap. What about these people over there? Hello. Uh, here we go. Okay, that's mid range. You see, we've got a lot of semi pens and. Uh, there's, an, there's an Omaha. Is he gonna torp me? Yeah, let's just drop the speed out, just in case he decides to drop some torps. But, uh, he's dead. There they are. Okay. Nope, you're not. <laughs> okay, let's mop up the rest of them. What else have we got? Oh, we're taking some fire from the New York. Okay. Let's get angled in. Sammy pens at this range. And uh, see if we can kind of get around him. He's focused on me, so the Koenig so the Koenigsberg can blap him in the side if necessary. Okay. Angle in. He's been waiting for that. But you see the armor is holding up against uh, against the and there come the torpedoes from our my teammate probably and that should be the end of the New York almost it's flooding and kill steel nah I'm not gonna kill steal that well done okay I <laughs> uh, didn't get to show off too much because uh, well, Tony told us to show a little bit in his Königsberg. Well done. Königsberg is a is an amazing ship. But um, well, the first thing I'll tell you, how did we do? Okay, well, yeah, seventy five thousand. <laughs> He's been torping some people, I can tell. Uh, yeah, you you've seen how fast she is. You haven't quite seen yet how well she maneuvers. So let's do another one. Okay, we're top tier again, and. Uh, there's not much on the enemy team. There's a Minakaza and a Corbet and a Kuma. Okay. Though the the Giulio Cesare can Cesare 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 the Giulio Cesare can totally hold herself in a tier six game. I've actually MVP'd on a tier six game. Well, you're gonna have to take my word for it unless we're gonna actually get into one. Uh, where are we gonna head? Well, we're probably just gonna head straight up B. Let's see. Um, Where's where's Tony up? Where's Tony off to? Shall we head B? Mm, or is he going over to C? Well, I'll probably find myself some enemies that I can kill without him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can. We <laughs> we're gonna go for all the caps. Sure. Why not? Uh, yes, actually, that makes a lot of sense because the. The bots are not going to focus on cap, and this is a bot-heavy game. So I'm going to let him drive off to C, and I'm going to go off to B. Just so we can try and, uh, and dominate the caps here. And I'm detected, so something should start shooting at me relatively quickly. One of the destroyers, yeah, there's a Minikaze, okay. The Minikaze is over there, he's going to run into a Königsberg. Which <laughs> is not something you want to do when you're in a Minikaze. Uh, so... See if I can get some shots out on this Furutaka. I just need to get around this island. Excuse me, while I do this. Okay, mostly over pens. That's a bit of a problem with the cruisers at this 
Now this is a bot, he's not going to torp me. But this can be a bit of a problem with cruisers at this uh, at this tier, that you're actually overpenning them. Okay. Oh, but we can just kill him like this as well. Okay, let's keep moving forward. Secure this cup. Uh, that's a that's a bot. Okay. Yep. Thanks. I'm gonna ignore the bot DD and go for the Corbet over there. Let's see if we can rush him. He seems to be really ah, miles away. Nope, he's not AFK. He's shooting at me. So I'm gonna go this way and see if we can rush him. Is the carrier somewhere there as well? I'm just gonna ignore the bot. He's stationary, so... Is he moving? No, he's just firing at me. Oh, he, Tony is gonna kill him before I get there again, isn't he? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna clean up the carrier then. Uh, Tony, you got this guy, right? I'm just gonna be baiting here. Really? Okay, give me the carrier. You muppet! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alright, heal. Yeah, he just torped the Corbet and... <laughs> Dude, you're making me look bad! I'm not even getting to shoot anybody! <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's still coughing a little bit. Let's see if we can catch the Phoenix. <laughs> Come on. Activated. Oh, turned rather unexpectedly. How am I gonna show off this thing if you keep killing everybody? <laughs> I have to play this. I mean, I'd still prefer Königsberg. Come on, give me a kill at least. Nope. Nope, he's on almost no health, and of course, with that reload, Tony's gonna beat me to it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, I'm gonna do one more, <laughs> and see if um, we can avoid Tony showing us up here. <laughs> gonna have to let him know to stop killing the whole team, because he makes me look bad on YouTube. Oh dear, this is hilarious. Okay, and we're in a tier 6 battle. So, what do we got? Normandy, New Mexico, New Mexico, Emerald, Kirov, Geda, and Aminikaze. Wound, we're going Golden Channel again. Okay, so same, same mechanism as last time. We're going to check out the flank, and if nobody decides to come around, then we'll just push them there. Okay, full on ahead. Yep, no that's what we're here for. Capture the target area is our middle name. All right, I'm gonna move forward. If one of the DDs is rushing us, uh, where's Tony? Tony's over there in the Budioni. Okay, at least he doesn't have a Königsberg anymore. <laughs> well, all the Budionis are good ships as well, so. Let's see what we can do with T6. Because in the end, this is not just about... Um, uh, well, this is, it is about me actually showing what this thing can do. So, let's see. There's the Emerald. There's the Gator. Okay, so I'm going to have to slow down here. Get lined in. The Emerald, emerald lined in. Tony can take the gator, I'll be shooting at the emerald. Look at the turn circle on this thing. See, this is what I'm talking about. There's Normandy. And up oh, there, Torps. That's fine. That's fine. We can dodge these. And yeah, all skill, no luck. <laughs> I totally knew what I was doing. Okay, we're getting a little bit of um, we're getting a bit of uh, attention here. 
No, I don't want fire, thank you. So, I don't want to push into this. There's a new mech, there, I'm a tier 5 battleship, and there's a lot of opposition. So, let's see if we can get that New Mexico to overshoot. Yes, we can. And, um, where are we going to shoot at? Let's try to punish that Normandy a little bit more over there. And dodge the shots. You see, you can actually dodge battleship shells in this thing. Okay, I want to get some more... I don't want to push this this flank because there's too much opposition here, and I'm in a I'm in a bottom bottom tier battleship. Uh, let's sink that emerald if he survives the torps. Seems like he does. He can't turn because of torps. Heal up. Okay, emerald dead. The Minikaze is on the other side, but we should go actually, you know, try and get the cap circle. Maybe people. They're extremely heavily focusing on the other uh, on this flank here. So let's try to get the cap. And actually skirt them over this way. Uh, what we got? Okay, now the, the burden is on them. And again, we can almost touch, almost dodge shells. Do we want to push into this? We're gonna lose a lot of health if we do. So let's just wait for our turrets to turn, to turn around. And this be bait at this point. So it's like, oh, tier 5 battle, look, bottom tier battleship. Can we get through them, actually? Uh, where is the Normandy shooting? There's another Kirov out there, so no, this is really a death a death trap over here. That was out of range, nope. I disagree. Now, this is not the ideal range. Oh, he's trying to set me on fire. Okay, I'm gonna try and outflank them, so I'm gonna go on a f frontal run here. I'm gonna try and get me permafires. Nope, that's just the secondaries. Because he's got a battleship in front that they have to deal with. So let's see if I can actually get around him. Yeah, I can't get through the belt armor. There's no way I can do that. But what I'm trying to do is actually chase him down. This is a New Mexico shooting at us, right? And we're holding up pretty well. I'm gonna see if I can chase him down. No, is he turning? No, I think he's turning. But now he's run aground. So now I just have to outrun his, his turrets. And then we almost got him. Out, that hurt. Now that was a citadel from the New Mexico. Can we still get him? Ah. Uh, Tony got him, of course. <laughs> okay, now we're pretty much dead at this point. Probably the Kirov over there is going to kill us. Can we get another shot off before we die? No. So the the idea was to, to rush them and get around him. And it almost worked. <laughs> Except for that Citadel at the end. But I mean, in the bottom tier battleship, uh, we've done pretty well. So let's follow Tony and see what, what he's getting up to. Where is he? There he is, in his Budioni. It's taken almost no damage. Now you see, you, you see, they they have focused on our left flank, but they haven't really, they haven't really gained anything from it, right? These torpedoes are never going to hit. Uh, they, they haven't really gained anything because, well, we we kept the we had the cap, and they haven't managed to push through <laughs> because I've been in the way, and that Normandy who who also um, who also gave his life defending the flank. And so that Nicholas just took out the end skater. So there's just the New Mexico left. And yeah, so it's good to push a flank, but you're pushing a flank in order to get flanking shots out against the enemy team inside the cap circle. So in their case, they've just lemming trained around this side and they've gave, given up cap control to look where they're sailing around, completely outside the cap circle. So yeah, there was no way we... Uh, we were going to lose this. And this is what I'm talking about, right? You can be MVP, bottom tier, <laughs> in the premium Italian battle cruiser, the Giulio Cesare. <laughs> this, this is just beautiful. Okay, I want to say thanks to Tony. All right. So, yeah, that's the, that's the Giulio Cesare. She's got 
armor to actually tank really well. I mean, I've, I've been brawling a New Mexico at close at close range. She's got the speed and the maneuverability to get a, to get around and outflank enemy battleships if you can pull it off. She has the she has the um, the, the the turn time to dodge torpedoes, and she's just an all round amazing ship. She plays like a cruiser with three hundred twenty millimeter main cannons, and I'm I'm loving this ship to death. So I don't think there's anything at this tier that is more fun for me to play. I don't usually promote premium ships just because they're premium ships or something. But if you're after a premium ship and if you like battleships and if you want to play mid-tier, my goodness, this thing is amazing fun. So yeah, there you have it. <laughs> I actually recommend a premium ship for once. So uh, that's the Giulio Cesare. The Italian Premium Tier 5 Battle Cruiser. <laughs> and that's it for me today. Thanks, Tony, for the great games. And I'll see you all on the weekend. Have a good one. Bye.